Yeah, um, um, might I begin on a very pleasant note to follow my constituency colleague, Senator Robbie Gallagher, in wishing Dr. Rory O'Hanlon a very happy um, 90th birthday and continued good health and enjoyment of life. He, he was one of and is one of the finest people we've ever had in political life and I've valued his friendship and his wisdom down the years when we met on many public at many public events. Might I also uh, follow up uh, or rather before I do this could I also put on the record my welcome to three guests of mine today, Father Patsy Carlin, who's an oblate father based uh, leading the oblates in, in Chicor and does extraordinary community work there and has done a lot of work in London uh, in Hope House and with people in difficult circumstances in London down the years and his brother-in-law Pat Maguire and Pat's son who are guests of mine and will be on the gallery shortly. Now could I just turn to one thing raised by Senator Gavin earlier and it's to first of all to congratulate the new executive of Northern Ireland, Michelle O'Neill, the Deputy Prime, uh, Prime Minister, uh, or Chief Executive, uh, Deputy Prime Minister, the, and all the executive members, and to wish them well. But in that context, could I reiterate a point that I regularly make, and I'll do it briefly, that we should start a programme, in addition to the, um, the Taoiseach's special unit on Northern Ireland uh, the, in the Taoiseach's office, in the Taoiseach's office, initiated by the Cardinal Taoiseach, that that, you, in addition to that, we need to put the sports capital grants should be linked. There should be extra points credit in the sports capital grants for clubs and sporting clubs who show a connection to Northern Ireland, who show evidence that they're visiting Northern Ireland, that they're playing challenge and friendly games there. So that should give points in the sports capital grant, small practical step. There should be more interaction between schools in Northern Ireland, second and third level schools, and there should be a positive policy and direction in that regard coming from government down through the education system to have exchanges of pupils, exchanges of games, cultural exchanges, etc. Because it's by building from the ground up those relationships and building those connections that you will ultimately achieve a united Ireland. And uh, that's what I think we got to do. So I think at that, on that basis, given the constraints of time, we leave the more development of that issue to another day, but I look forward to your response.